In this video, each group member will add a text box that describes a choice the reader can make. You'll then link that text box to a new slide. For this part of the activity, each group member will work at their own computer, but you'll work in the presentation at the same time. On the slide that describes the problem, insert a text box. Click, drag, and release to create the text box to a desired size. Then type one choice in the text box. Next, create a new slide in the presentation. Describe what happens when the character makes that choice. Check out how this works with everyone adding their slides at the same time. Each person in the group creates a text box and a choice. Then each person creates a new slide for their choice. Nia creates a slide for walk and includes what would happen to the character if they picked that option. Molly creates a slide for drive and Antonio creates a slide for how to look anew. Everyone in your group will add choices and slides at the same time. It will help to follow these guidelines. First, right and second person point of view. The text in the title line should always start with you. Second, title each slide with the choice the reader made in the last slide. For example, when the reader clicks drive, the next slide is titled, you decided to drive. If the reader chose walk, the slide reads, you decided to walk. Following these guidelines will help your story flow and make it easier for others to link to your slides. Although you will be working at your own computer, continue to discuss ideas with your group and ask each other for help. On your new slide, type a problem that will move the story forward. Here, the reader decided to walk. Then they hear a noise coming from a tree. This additional text sets up the next problem. Next, return to the slide that describes the original problem and link the text box to your new slide. Highlight the text that matches your choice. From the menu, insert a link. From the drop down, choose slides in this presentation. Then select the slide you created for your choice. This list contains slide titles. If you followed the guidelines and titled your slide with the reader's choices, you can easily link to the correct slide. Test the link in presentation mode. Great! In the next video, you'll continue to add choices, slides, and links. Then you'll add images to illustrate your story. Now it's your turn. Create a text box and type in a choice for the reader. Add a new slide and title it with the choice. Follow the guidelines. Always write in second person. You your, yours, and always include the choice in the title. Link the choice to its slide. Test the link in presentation mode. Once you've added and linked one slide, move on to the next video to continue building your story.